In this video, we're going to look at adding or removing a button from the till screen. To do this, choose the menu option called EPOS and then choose the option called Till Map Designer. From here, choose the option called Map Layers and you'll be given a list of all the different layers you have in your system. Click on the appropriate layer and you'll be shown the product buttons for that screen. When adding a new product button, you need to ignore the buttons along the top because they are automatically populated with your function buttons, which are things, for example, log on, log off, print receipt, void item, etc. And ignore the buttons along the bottom because they will be automatically populated with your map link buttons, allowing you to navigate to different pages. The rest of the options in the middle are free for you to add your products onto. To do this, click on the button on the top called products which will then display on the right hand side the search options. You can then search for the product by its name or if you're wanting to add a series of products on you could do it by its stock group. So click on group one for example and choose the food items. We then hit search and then this will give you all of the different products within the food group. To move these onto the screen it's a simple drag and drop system so just left click on your mouse and hold down drag the item to the square you want it to go to and hit release. The item will then appear on there and then for the next item just do the same thing and it'll appear on the screen. Once the button is on the screen you can change its position if you want to just by left click and drag again and release or if you want to swap them round left click drag it over the top of the other button and release and the buttons will swap positions. Once you've positioned the buttons as you want them, you can then set some colours. To do that, click on the button you want to change and you will see the options appear on the right hand side. To change the background colour, click on here and choose the paint option which will allow you to pick a particular colour. Now you can see here we've picked a particularly dark background colour. So if we want to change the colour of the writing, we go to foreground and choose a nice light option to make the writing easier to see. If need be, you can go to font weight and change the option from normal to bold just to make the writing stand out a bit better. When assigning your colours, you may want to copy a particular colour from one of the other buttons. To do that, click on the option called clipboard which will free up the space over on the right hand side. Then you drag the button you want to copy over onto this part of the screen and release. Then you have two options. You can either left click and drag this over the other button you want to copy it to and then it will change the color profile on that button to the one you've copied. Alternatively, if you want to adjust a series of buttons all at the same time, you can click on the first one where you can see the green etching around the outside to, to show the button you've selected. To choose additional buttons, hold down the control button on your keyboard and select the other buttons. You'll see they're all highlighted in green. Now if we go back to clipboard, we've then got the button we want to copy and then just click on apply to selected and all the buttons you've selected will be changed to what you've chosen. To remove a button from the screen, click on the button you want to remove and you'll see here we've got the product details here. You then have this option here at the bottom called remove button. Click it and you'll be asked, are you sure you want to remove the button? If you're happy, you do want to, hit yes and the button will be taken off from the screen. Once you're happy you've made all your changes, click the save option and it will be brought back to the main layer screen. Now by clicking save this doesn't automatically send this new information out to the till. To do that go back to the main till map design the screen and choose the option here called publish maps. Once you've clicked on it, it'll ask, are you sure you want to publish the maps to your tills? If you're happy, click yes. 
and then that information will be sent to the tills. The till does not need to be restarted for it to pick this up. All that will happen is next time an operator logs onto the till or when they navigate to a different page within a couple of minutes, the system will automatically update itself. The operator may see the screen freeze for a second, but other than that, the till will continue as normal. Thank you.